Hi guys! So I have a New Year's project for you today. This little box. It fits six tea lights and I'm using um, the new stamps from Little Blue Button Stamps. This is Walking Jessica and this is Simon and I think they're so cute. So the boxes are already made, have Jessica and the next box is going to have Simon. And let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. We're starting with a piece of cardstock that measures seven and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And we are going to score that. On the seven and a quarter piece, we are going to score it at six and three eighths. And then we are going to score it at five and seven eighths. And then we're scoring it at one and three eighths. Uh, there. And for the final score here, it's at half an inch. And then we just turn it around and then we have the eight and a quarter at the top. And we're gonna score it at five and a quarter. We're gonna score it at four and three eighths at one and three eighths and at half an inch. And that's all the scoring we are going to do. So I'm going to put this away. We are actually going to cut a little bit uh, before we put the box itself together. We're going to cut the hole in this. Now I kind of realized I'm using a black paper and that mm, you might not see the scoring lines here. If I do this you can see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, uh, I'm going to cut half an inch inside the middle of the box here. So what I'm doing, I'm lining up the second score line at the half inch line on my cutter, which means that my blade will be inside half an inch. And then I'm going from the second score line from the top and which is about, let's see, one and a quarter, one and three eighths actually, if I'm gonna be full out, it's actually at one and three eighths. And we are taking that from one and three eighths, uh, and we're taking that half an inch up, which leaves at one and seven eighths. And then we're going to cut that down to five and three eighths. So from one and seven eighths to five and three eighths. And you have the line scoring on these, so this is very simple when you do that. Then we're turning it around and we're putting the middle score line or the, yeah, the second score line from the other side to at the two inch mark and again we're going from one and seven eighths to five and three eighths. Then we're turning this around. Now uh, putting the second score line again at the half inch mark and as I did to lines here. I can just line this up with the first line and score down to the second. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Line the second score line at half an inch and line this up with these. And that's how you cut the hole in your box that away because we're done with that cutting. Then we are going to score or, or crease all our scores because uh, when you make a box you really want to go through that and thoroughly score all your pieces. Careful about that. that. And I'm using just some regular black cardstock. There's nothing fancy about this. And then we just crease all the score lines. When you have creased all your score lines you want to do some cutting. 
uh, when you look at, if we look from the, where you have a half inch mark on the, this is the seven and a quarter width, you have a half inch mark, up here you don't have any, but how, down here you have one, you're going to cut that an angle to the second score line and then cut those down like that and then this is going to be a full tab so we're going to cut all the way and then just angle the half inch over here we're actually going to have a tab for this to rest on i should have kept the tab on here but you don't have to have a tab there but it's a good way to have these two pieces have something to rest on so you just cut these at an angle the half inch pieces here you cut down so you have something for the tab to rest on that and then this is going to be cut off this half inch here so basically you could have left two two flaps like these over here you don't need to but you could have and then we are going to cut this and this is just going to be cut right off and this will leave you with kind of a box base this away and now this is our box base uh, the reason why I cut a hole here is because I'm gonna use some acetate now I have this very fancy acetate um, Crouch Companion had a drive when they sell their Tarides and then you could get these fancy acetate in their package and I really really like it I haven't used it that much so now I have not brilliant opportunity to use it and I'm going to use some double-sided tape I'm using score tape because it's a good quality and it sticks very good I'm using an eighth of an inch around this hole to put my acetate on with uh, one of the reasons is because I don't have that much area to work with and the piece of acetate is uh, the height of it isn't as good as it could be it's supposed to be cut down to um, two and three quarters by four and a quarter and I think it's cut down to um, four inches so that is why it's a little bit but uh, with eight and an inch around it it actually works pretty good so I'm gonna put that on in the middle now this acetate is double-sided so it's a gold side and a silver side I'm gonna use the silver side for this project and sorry for this sound but there's a child running on the floor upside above us I live in an apartment so it's a little bit of a thubbing sound very annoying and that's the uh, acetate now we're going to put some uh, one quarter of an inch score tape to put this box together we're going to put it on this tab down here which is kind of the back of the box and then um, I like to have my seam on the left side so then this is the top and this is the bottom and on the bottom flap I am going to put some of the score tape and I'm putting it close to the fold, fold line so it will fit together now on the top of this uh, to be able to easier open this up I am going to put a 
circle. Now, I would have used an inch, but I don't have my inch punch, so this is a three quarters of an inch, and it's actually my sister's three quarter of an inch punch. And I'm centering this so it's midway into and about, about midway into this piece. So then I have a little tab to open up the box with. So now we're going to put the last finishes together. So we're going to just take away the, the glue from the long flap. We're folding it over quite hard and then we're folding this, lining that edge up as good as you can. And then you just push down and push together like that. Now I should have had two flaps over here, but I only have two, but it works too. We're removing the sticky tape from the bottom and pushing that in um, to the box. And now I glue it together a little bit like this. And then you can put, if you have small hands like me, you can use your fingers and just otherwise use like your bone folder or something. And that's the box. We're going to use some of these scented candles. These are lemon zest or something like that. The, I don't know what the... And you just fill it up. Now this box is brimming with these. It's just big enough to hold them. Uh, I haven't given any leeway because I felt it would work better if things wouldn't, weren't moving inside. So this tab want to go up, so we're gonna tie around it and we're gonna use some of this um, band. It's a decoration band. Uh, it's like for... I bought it at, the, at my grocery store, but I really like it and it has this uh, metal metal thing in the border, but I really like the, the fabric. So we are going to knot this a little bit to the left of this. So I'm starting with a ordinary knot, Let's see, like this, and I'm pulling that pretty tight and then I'm taking my pincette or pinchy thing here because it makes things easier because that holds it for me then I can think about how I want to tie this um, that way because I want it to go the same way and it has, has a, the knot have a special name I just don't ever remember it um, I don't know it in English but you tie it like that and you get a pretty good um, fastened knot just cut it at an angle, both sides like that. Then you have your knotted piece. Uh, if you are afraid that it's gonna fall off by itself, you can uh, put a glue dot or something underneath, but I tied it pretty well, so it should stay in place. And then I'm gonna add this little guy, just with some simple uh, dimensionals. Um, just because I think it's, I want him to stick pretty hard. These are like red tape dimensionals, so the backing are a little bit hard to get off, but they do stick, like there's no tomorrow. I really like them. Actually, I'm going on that one. So they're a little bit... That. And I stick it all to myself also, stick it onto myself. And, uh, come on, got rid of you. Um, then I'm just gonna add him to the corner of the package like this. And that's the New Year's package. So the box is finished. You can win both of these um, or one of these. Just comment down below uh, which one you want. Uh, she has Jasmine, 
he has lemon candles underneath and if you don't want any scent at all I can easily switch these out to uh, contain non-scented candles. Uh, to be able to win this comment below and be a subscriber and I will draw a winner in the middle of January. Hope you like this video and I see you later. Bye and Happy New Year!